Good morning, SCA. It is Monday, May 8th. A few announcements for you. Uh, congratulations to all of our student actors who put in so many hours preparing and presenting a fantastic show. Hope you get your well-deserved rest this, or hope you've got your well-deserved rest this past weekend. Uh, congrats to our valedictorian this year. If you haven't heard, it's Hannah. Hannah was selected by her grade 12 peers along with the SEA staff. Congratulations. This Friday is our junior high track and field day. It's always one of my most favorite days of the year. Mr. Botchway has sent you all an email for the junior highs. Uh, you need to choose four events. So one of them needs to be a running event. Please make sure that is completed. Our film festival is coming up for high school, May 18th at 7 p.m. High school students from both semesters will be showing their films at the Garneau Food Theater. Exams are also coming up. May 15th is part A ELA, that's for our grade nines. If you are taking a diploma, the diploma exam prep courses are also on their way here in June. They are $125 per course. See Mrs. Matheson for more info on that. Multicultural Day is coming up. This is with Mr. Botchway in the lead here. More details will be coming. And also our grade 12 retreat is coming. It will be on June 5th. More details will be coming for that as well. All right, I have been thinking about decisions. This time of year, you know, you think about what you're doing next year, uh, jobs for the summer or what you're doing for the summer, just a few things. Um, and sometimes we overthink our decisions, but what if I told you that you don't need to actually put so much pressure on yourself, even for big decisions. Jesus tells us that he can lead the way, he can lead you to freedom and fulfillment. Overthinking is easy and it happens to everyone. Some people do tend to overthink more than others, uh, but I would bet that we all second guess ourselves sometimes. We are a bit self-conscious and tend to think about ourselves. This can lead to fear, anxiety, and retreating from those around you. There's a story in the Bible about the woman at the well. She chooses to go to the well in the middle of the afternoon. So it's safe to assume that she doesn't want to be judged or talked about because of how she's lived her life. She's self-conscious about what people think about her and probably embarrassed. We all have things in our life that we are embarrassed about and we try to hide from others. The more we think about our shortcomings, the more embarrassed we get and we, the more we think about our downfalls. When the woman at the well was getting her water, a Jewish man approached her. I can't imagine what she's thinking. Clearly she doesn't want to be seen. After one conversation with Jesus, this woman goes from hiding in the heat to running back into town, telling everyone about him. She goes from complete embarrassment to a place where she can be so absorbed with Jesus. She ignores her shortcomings and everything that she has been once embarrassed by. She was overcome by his presence. Are you self-conscious or God conscious? I don't mean to make you feel guilty because you're not thinking about God all the time instead of your decisions and problems. But how do we become more God conscious? Let him lead you. Just be aware of his presence. Even if you have to literally remind yourself that he is there and he does care. He's everywhere. He has placed you in this class you are sitting in now. He is in the nature that you see on your way to school. I pray that as we are all pre preoccupied with our own shortcomings and weaknesses, Jesus wants to remind you that he is forgiving he is loving and he is unlike any other relationship that you have. He is that good. This doesn't fix everything you're going through, but it could help you make life a little bit easier and make, hopefully, make those decisions feel a little bit more peaceful. Have a great week, SCA.